Hi, I'm Dane from socialbookshelves.com. I'm currently full of cold, hence me sounding a bit coldy. And my little uh, mug here with uh, my, my Lem Sip. Question, if it's black currant Lem Sip, is it still Lem Sip? I suppose it is, because otherwise it would be Black Sip, and you can't call it Black Sip. This is my February haul video. I've got parcels. I've only got one, but it is only the second of February, the first was a Sunday. So uh, we'll, we'll have a look, shall we? Interesting. So this is a book that I've been sent by uh, the author, I believe, or maybe their PR. It's uh, Shane Hegarty, uh, Dartmouth. Um, it's a sort of a kid's book, but it's not too kiddy. I mean, obviously it's, it's a bit of a beast, you know, there's plenty of pages in it, about 400 pages, um, published by Harper Collins. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna be pretty good. It's also got this really cool little like snake skin pattern. You can just about see it, look. How cool is that? So I've had these books on my desk for a couple of days and I've, I've not opened them and I've really wanted to because I don't know what they are. Let's see. Number one. Jesus, this is heavy. The White Cross by Richard Macefield. Some historical fiction. Uh, ooh, 12th century England. This one's from Wiley and they're very cool. They do a lot of non-fiction publishing. Um, I guess I must have spoken to someone directly at Wiley because I'm not sure... Uh, I don't remember ordering one. Wild in America by David M. Friedman. Oscar Wilde and the invention of the modern celebrity. That actually sounds pretty awesome. Hi guys, so I'm still dreadfully cold riddled. I have some parcels. I also have some good news about my own writing. It appears that um, a book that I've written, a novella, a, a sort of a, I suppose it's a, 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 a supernatural thriller. I couldn't remember the word supernatural. Uh, that's hopefully going to be published by Book Trip, which is one of my favourite uh, publishers. They're a, a hybrid and it's all very exciting. I'll keep you updated on that. Um, I've got this one. This came in this envelope. It was already open when it got here, but it all appears to be intact. This is an uncorrected proof of all things of Real Monsters by Liam Brown, which is it's coming out on uh, the 1st of March 2015, so hopefully I'll be able to read this and get my review up in time. Uh, I've also got this one. This one is on open. Yes, I'm so excited about this. This is called Amsterdam Lessons. <laughs> and um, I got this as part of a, a Valentine's Day campaign. It's one of those books that can put your, uh, put your name in it. Emily looked over at Dane. His eyes were darting from Anton's fucking of the waitress over the table whilst Camille whipped them into further submission and the scene unfolding between the four men and two women to their right. Hi guys, just a quick one. I got this today. Um, ooh. What's this? It feels more like a CD. Ooh, let's have a look. What? Oh. Oh, I've accidentally agreed to review a DVD. Hi guys, so I've got a couple more parcels today. Just an update on that last parcel actually, that DVD. I believe I'm being sent the book that goes with it. So um, I, I'll get, I can review the book. I probably won't get to review the DVD, but I can watch it, I suppose. Or I might give it away as well, so uh, keep posted. I'm uh, going to open this one first. Um, this is from Benefactum Publishing. Oh, this is wicked. Oh, this is two books. This is a guy called Hugh Kellett. Um, his book's called Glitch, and it's about how predictive text plays havoc with British history. But I've also got a Glitch USA as well. So it's basically the story of history rewritten as if it was with predictive text. So I've just seen a perfect example, um, and I've gone off the page. There we go. Every five years there's something we all dread. We've also got this, uh, I'm guessing this might be that one to go with that DVD, I, I don't know, we'll have a look. This is from Gazelle. Okay, yeah, so here we go, this is, what the fuck? 
This is the Middle Kingdom ride by Colin and Ryan Pyle, which are, so this is the book that goes with that DVD. They're two brothers with two motorcycles, an epic journey around China, which I'm really looking forward to this actually. Um, I'm definitely gonna try and read this before I watch the DVD, so I'll let you know what I think. It's also come with this. It's come with an invoice form. I've never seen one of these before. I'm so hungover, I might die. Oh, I've got this. There's a cake. There's... Kill me! Oh, it's it's defeating me. I can't. I can't. Oh, hello. What's this? Stress Control, Stress Busting Strategies for the 21st Century by Susan Balfour. Mmm, cool. That's good. Covers a bit, a bit, it feels a bit flimsy. I think it's going to get a bit bent, but formatting looks good. I'm going to go and go into a hangover coma now, but well, I'll see you soon. We oh, we're recording. Yeah, we've got a parcel. Handwritten. I like handwritten. Handwritten is good. Let's see what we got. To Dane, please find a closed copy of the book and an up-to-date press release. Hope you enjoy the book. Kind regards, Mitch. So this is Towards the Horizon by J. R. Astley. Ashley, sorry. Uh, oh, oh yes, is this the, yes, this is a book of poetry. I'm so excited actually. I mean, we'll just give you a quick sample. No one about you will give a damn when you're gone, but when they will squabble over your money, everyone, yeah. Hello, I'm hungover. I've got a parcel, it's from Headline. Heard of them. Um, probably because, well, they've sent me this book, I imagine, so that's probably why. If you can hear screaming, it's just, Power Rangers, there's a spider. Ah, oh, sweet, it's Motherless Child, the definitive biography of Eric Clapton by Paul Scott. I, I did say to the, uh, the publisher, I'm not a huge Eric Clapton fan, but you know, he's got some tunes and uh, he seems like an interesting guy. Plus he's worked with a lot of people who, who are like dead cool, like Jimi Hendrix is talking about here. So what you're about to see is what happened when I was at work and a big box of parcels happened. Uh, they got delivered to my desk and I wanted to open them there and then, so I did. But it's a bit, sort of, because I was at work and I was supposed to be working. Um, they were sent to me by uh, a woman called Laura, Laura Brown from Silver Pop. Thank you, Laura. Uh, they do a book, a book club. Go to silverpop.com forward slash book club, I think, and uh, find information there. But they've sent me some bookmarks before as well. And it's all about sort of social media marketing. Cheers, silver pop. Big up, big up. I'm not going to talk because it's really embarrassing. I've just got to find my scissors. <laughs> Two of each. Global content marketing, unselling, and recommend this. Are they all the same author? I <laughs> can't even say that. Tib Tibalt Wadsworth, Stratton Kramer, and Didner. Yeah. I've got this from uh, Harper Collins. Handwritten note. Well, handwritten address. So uh, let's see. It is. Oh, this looks awesome. This is Chris Columbus and Ned Vizzini. House of Secrets, Battle of the Beasts. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's a quote from J.K. Rowling up at the top. So, you know, J.K., if it's good enough for J.K., it's good enough for me. Hi, guys. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I may have accidentally included a bit of March in this because I filmed an outro and forgot. But anyway, that's what I got in February and a bit in March. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check out the channel for more videos. I'm about to start filming March, but that'll be out in April. And then, oh... So keep your eyes peeled for it and I'll see you soon. Bye.